Let's talk about when to use different campaigns. So in your AdWords account, the next step down, as I explained, we have the campaign level. So you set up a campaign and then inside a campaign, you have the ad group, which contains the keywords and the ads that show for the keywords. Well, a lot of people make the mistake where they set up kind of one campaign and then they have all their ad groups with hundreds or thousands of campaigns underneath that one campaign. So they have a bunch of different ad groups and you can have thousands and thousands and thousands of ad groups. So they just manage it all under one campaign. Well, I've briefly mentioned this already in this module, why that's a mistake. Campaigns have different controls and settings than the ad groups do. Campaigns can have their own daily budget setting. Campaigns can, of course, they can do stuff like day parting where you can schedule when the campaign may run or not. Uh, so it's much easier to isolate the activity inside something if it's at the campaign level rather than at the ad group level. Now you can certainly kind of pause and turn on and off ad groups, uh, but it's just as easy to do it with campaigns at the campaign level if you're using a bunch of campaigns smartly for your account. So let's talk about different uses of when you would definitely want to use different campaigns and not try to do it all under different ad groups. So if you have different products in your business, more than one product, at a minimum, you'd want to campaign for each of those products if you're going to try to drive traffic from AdWords. Um, it's just a better way to structure it. Of course, you want to use the naming convention or some kind of similar naming scheme that I've explained to you. you will be able to track all that in your reports and see which product it was that you're promoting in that campaign. When you're promoting different goals, let's say maybe even if you only sell one product, but you want to try to run AdWords to see if you can build opt-in leads and then do follow-up to try to you know, sell your product through a follow-up sequence after someone opts in. Well, opting in, that's a goal, building opt-ins. Or you could run AdWords traffic and you want to test it, sending them right to a sales page to try to make the sale directly. That's a different goal. So in that case, even if you only had one product, you, at a minimum, you'd want a campaign for the opt-ins and a campaign for the direct sales. Now, another reason to use different campaigns is when you're promoting different websites. Now, Google doesn't, you have to actually do this because Google doesn't allow you to run different domain names inside the same ad group, so you would need different campaigns. Another reason for a different campaign is when you're targeting a different geographic area. So if you're you know, creating a campaign and running traffic for, let's say, a bunch of English countries, that's okay, like the US, Canada, Australia, the United Kingdom, New Zealand, so on and so forth, that's fine, you can do that. But typically, if you're targeting a different area, even if it's in the same language, even if it is in English, like so if you're gonna do the market of Germany and you are gonna run your ad in English and target English people, or English speaking people at least, um, you know, through categories and whatever, where there is a subset of English there in Germany and not just the German language, uh, you'd wanna have that separate. So anytime you do different geographic areas, uh, you'd wanna have different campaigns. When you're targeting different languages, that's taking that a step further. Obviously, you'd want to have a different campaign. If you're, if you're doing something in German or Chinese or Japanese, uh, if you're capable of marketing in those different languages, well, then you would definitely want different campaigns set up. Now, when you target separate devices, I recommend that you do all of the setup that I'm teaching you to do to only target desktop users first, at least for a while. Desktop produces higher quality leads, higher quality traffic in almost every single case. So start with just desktop. But if you find a bunch of keywords that are working very well for your business, then you want to expand and add mobile and or tablet. And if you do that, set up a whole new campaign. I'm going to teach you how you can just kind of basically copy and duplicate an existing campaign into a new one. So you want to have a separate campaign for the different device types. And by the way, just to clarify that, that's a different campaign for different device types for each group of keywords that you're using. So it doesn't mean just two different campaigns, one desktop, one mobile. I mean, if you're targeting a group of you know five to 10 keywords that are doing very well for your business and you're targeting those on desktop, then you would produce another campaign to target those on, on mobile, but you'd still have other desktop targeting campaigns for other keywords in your account. So it's not just those two. And of course, you want to set up campaigns to isolate your most valuable keywords. If you find that one keyword phrase is producing thousands of dollars a month in business for your company, for your business, isolate and move that into its own campaign so you can manage it with tighter controls. So move your most valuable keywords into their own campaigns, not just into one campaign, but into individual campaigns. You can have like over 10,000 campaigns in your account or just, you know, you can have thousands and thousands of campaigns, so it's okay if you do that. 
Now, you also want to set up a different campaign when you're targeting a major theme difference. So let's say that you have a bunch of keywords that kind of are after like a certain theme. Like when we use the gardening example, let's say there's a bunch of keywords related to setting up gardening or doing gardening like on your own property or in your backyard. And then let's say you have a different theme, which would be like the hydroponic gardening, which is a totally different thing if you know what that actually is. I'm not a gardening expert, but I know it's different. You know, the first one, the general one is like growing tomatoes. You plant the seeds and you watch the, you know, the, the fruits or vegetables grow in a garden. Hydroponics is completely different where you're literally, you're literally raising fish and their waste is used to then fertilize uh, crops as well. And it's like this cyclical type of uh, process where it just, you know, feeds the fish, feeds the, the crops and, and so on and so forth. So it's a totally different, different thing that hydroponics thing. So that would be a great example to have different campaigns. You could have one with the main gardening stuff for home backyard gardening, then another for hydroponic gardening, even if, even though hydroponic gardens could be in the backyard, but you know, one using the ground, one using the hydroponics. And, and so if one is, you know, creating your own gardening plans. That may be a different theme just for every different subgroup of can of keywords that where there'd be need to be maybe different ads, different communication, maybe even different landing pages. If there ever needs to be a different landing page theme wise, then you definitely want a different campaign for it. And of course you want to have a different campaign if you're targeting a different type of prospect. So if you're targeting, um, you know, a certain type of a user, let's say you're targeting the home gardening enthusiast with a certain keyword, certain ads, certain landing pages. But then you want to go after targeting whatever, like garden suppliers or wholesalers. Still in the world of gardening, but those are two different types of pro uh, prospects. So you would definitely want different campaigns. And last but not least, when in doubt, use a separate campaign, I say. It, it can't hurt you to have more campaigns, but it can hurt you to have more ad groups or ads and, and have more keywords within one ad group. So it can never hurt you to have more campaigns. So if all else fails and when in doubt, uh, create a new campaign just to keep things separate. You can always move things around, move more things under the same campaign if, if you want to for management purposes, reporting purposes later. But if all else fails, use different campaigns.